Stephen just doesn't sound right, does it? I mean, Stephen King does, but not King Stephen. But there was one. He was the grandson of William the Conqueror, but he wasn't the son of his predecessor, Henry I. Now, Henry I had lots of children. Some of them were even legitimate. But the only surviving potential heir was Matilda, and she was snubbed in favour of Stephen. She didn't like that very much, so it led to years of civil war called the Anarchy. But I know you're not here to learn about that. You want to know about how King Stephen died weirdos. Anyway, Stephen, he died of a condition called apoplexy. In the 19th century, you, we use that to describe the disability brought on by a stroke. That could be from a clot to the brain, but also from a bleed. And the bleed's the important bit because apoplexy actually refers to bleeding into an internal organ. So it could be anywhere else. And for Stephen, it was into his gut. He had a disease in his bowel that meant that he was bleeding and he bled to death in that way. It would have been a pretty painful way to go for, for poor King Stephen. <laughs> 